Connor makes it sound like it's going to look terrible, but it's going to look classy. We're cutting the roof off. I'm excited. It's What's up, everybody? Caitlin and I, we're on our way to the junkyard. This episode of Show Me 4x4 is brought to you by you guys, our 61 followers on YouTube. Thanks for everyone that watches these things. I know we've been MIA the past couple weeks because the racing season's over and we got two broken rigs. And uh, yeah, so now it's time. We have our motivation back. We're heading to the junkyard right now to go get Caitlin a new power steering pump. We also have something else we've been kind of wanting to talk about. So we have some big plans with the Jeep this year. And Caitlin made some purchases today, getting ready for next year. She got, uh, why don't you share with them? So today I bought um, some racing wear. I got fireproof gloves, uh, shoes and socks. Later will come a helmet and a racing suit. Uh, I'm gonna have to break it up because you know, it's expensive. So first few things getting bought for, uh, for me to start racing, so. Now we just gotta fix the Jeep and undertake a massive project, which we're gonna show you. You guys are gonna come along for the ride on our adventure of building the Jeep into a Pro-Am class, like rock crawler, trail rig, bouncer. It's gonna be a cluster of things. It may not be good at everything. It may not be but, pretty, but it's going to do the job. I hope so, I don't know. So the plans for the Jeep, we're gonna do tons. We have a 14 bolt that we just picked up last week. Actually, Chris went up and got it for us. So we have 14 bolt rear axle. We're gonna do a Dana 60 front axle, linking it front and rear, fully plating the frame. And then we're gonna cut the roof off of it. It's gonna be a convertible, maybe. It's gonna have a cage. It'll, it'll have a roof built into the cage. Connor makes it sound like it's gonna look terrible, but it's gonna look classy. We're cutting the roof, I'm excited. It's gonna look good. It's gonna look good. It'll be kind of a I'm thinking we're gonna do like a fastback style cage, but we'll see where it goes. We're uh, in the prepping stages right now. We're gathering parts. We're gonna try to get the axles built, get some material purchased, and then hopefully October, November, we'll be putting on jack stands and selling some parts and getting the thing, getting it ready to do the one tons first. Because then after we do our shock mounts and everything, we're gonna tie the roll cage into the hoops and cut the roof off. So if anybody wants to sponsor us and be our first sponsor. They'll um, get a free Show Me 4x4 t-shirt and hat. So hit us up. Yes. Everything's up to discussion. Junkyard. We're here. Mmm, smells like bad fuel. One of my favorite smells because that just screams junkyard. So we're here looking for a power steering pump. Yeah, when you hold the camera and talk to it, people think you're fucking weirdos. Found one. There we go. It is. So at least we're hoping it's the power steering pump because it steers when the truck's off, but when you turn the truck on, it doesn't steer. So I think that, uh, Not moving, moving I think fluid. the pump's pushing fluid, trying to push fluid both directions. Okay, so didn't do much recording. We got the pump off. I got a bleeder. So we're gonna go home, see if this solves our steering issue, if not, we know there's a couple Jeeps out here that have good steering boxes. We'll just exchange this pump or steering box and go from there. Probably grabbing a spare axle shaft. We'll see. Now I go find someone to wash my hands. It's raining outside. It's raining about damn time. Well, I lost an O-ring. So, I have all of them now, so that shouldn't happen again. I got the line on, went to the old auto parts store. Let's throw some fluid in here and uh, we'll bleed the steering out and see if it makes a difference. We'll see if we have steering or if we have to get a steering box. And I really hope we don't do the steering box. All right, we're going to do the old free pour. Mainly because I'm too lazy to go get a funnel. There it goes. All right, and we'll pull. That looks delicious. Gross. You've seen that fluid looks disgusting. So 
I'm going to uh, drain all the fluid and then we're gonna take this pump back, get our store credit. We got down to the bottom of it. So now I'm gonna do the diff cover gasket on the Forerunner and maybe tighten up the fuel leak and start it up, let it run for a little bit. What's up everyone? Welcome back to Show Me 4x4. It is a Sunday. Today is a big day. We're going to strip the Jeep down. We're gonna pull the doors off, pull the interior out, kind of get it ready to do all the fabricating we're gonna do on it. We have the frame stiffeners on order. We have to figure out what we're doing for rock sliders and kind of get an estimate amount of how much tubing we're gonna need. That's kind of the goal for today. Let's get the shop ready. All right, cold start. Okay. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Are you gonna miss the tiny tires? No. Tiny tires are crap. <laughs> so we got Jeep in the garage. Caitlin is starting to pull everything out of it. While she's working on the interior, I'm gonna hang my cabinets and then I'll get to helping her. So this is about where we've gotten so far. We've got a big pile of parts that we are not keeping. Now, Chris came over. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> we are trying to get an estimate on tubing. Maybe trying to come up with a design and some lines on where we're going to cut the roof off. Go off the rocker, the bottom of the rocker there. 26 to the top. Yeah. This side is high, so grab the tape off, Connor. Yeah. So the job falls, I think that this is actually tall. So you get the rope in first, and then you can the We'll just get it close enough. We have the tape off, bring it down. Just curious if any other Jeep owners have come across this before. Is that, is that normal? So we've made a lot of progress today. Look at this skeleton. Not much of a Jeep left. We started cutting the roof off, but we came to the conclusion we we're gonna do the rock sliders first and the frame stiffeners, mainly because Yeah, unibodies are interesting. I'm used to full framed vehicles. We'll get the frame stiffeners and the rock sliders this week. Hopefully we'll get those on next week. We'll get the roof cut off. And then we did all of our measuring. We're gonna get 11 sticks of tubing, a sheet of quarter inch, and probably a handful of other things. 
Now I gotta go get rid of those. So, hope everyone has a great week. We're gonna get our shop cleaned up and get everything put back in our garage. And enjoy the rest of our Sunday. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.